Hey guys, we're back here again for some more gaming action. Here today we're going to be playing the Pokemon Trading Card Game now. This is widely regarded as one of the best spin-off games in history, but I'm pretty skeptical about it. A lot of people think this is a great game. Let's just see if this is good. Okay, so first things first, we gotta pick a name. Um, as soon as I figure out how to insert my name into the thing, then I guess we can get Zach is crazy about Pokemon card collecting. <laughs> Alright, so now we gotta go to a Pokemon card researcher. Um, first question, why the hell is there a professor studying Pokemon cards? What kind of waste of taxpayer dollars are we dealing with? Okay, so now we ask the basics of the game. So, what do I want to ask about? Holy sh! That is a lot of information! <laughs> um, how many rules are there, are there in this game? Like, seriously. Alright, we're gonna start the battle here. Okay, each player draws seven cards. Okay, seems pretty easy enough. <sighs> Choose a basic Pokemon, place in the arena. Alright, so all I got is a stupid Goldeen, so I cannot select this card. Why can't I put Seeking down? I thought this was a game. A game where I'm free to make my own decision. Alright, so step one. I have to choose a hand from the men choose hand from the menu. Um, select a water energy card, attach the water energy card to your active Pokemon, Goldeen. And then next, I have to choose attack from the menu, and then select horn attack. Okay, so, let me get this straight. In the game in Pokemon, where choosing an attack is two button presses, you have to go to hand menu, and then attach an energy to the card, and then hit the attack button. That takes it so much longer and slow pace, Sam is thinking. Mac Choppy's low kick. Took 20 damage. Evolve Goldeen by attaching Sea King to it. Attach a Psychic Energy card to the. You know, I don't. I don't feel like this is a game. I feel like someone is literally telling me what to do every step of the way, and it's. You know, it just sucks the fun right out. Attach a Water Energy card to your benched Star You. Choose attack and attack your opponent with horn. All right, I finally killed this stupid idiot. So let's see what kind of prize I get. Um, this better be good, or else I'm not gonna be happy about this. So I'm just doing the e me my mo thing, and uh, I think you gotta be kidding me. Take drowsy from your hand and put it on your bench. Attach a water energy card to your bench, drowsy. Then choose seeking and attack your. You know, there's a lot of steps involved. No, I'm not I'm not impressed by this game at all. It seems like a very a much slower paced version of Pokemon that's just dumb to me. Step one, your Sea King was knocked out. Choose your bench star you and press the A button to set it as your choose a water energy card from your hand and attack it with Star You. Choose Star You. Choose potion card in your hand to recover Star You's HP. Attach a water energy card to evolve Star You by attaching Star Me. Alright, time to finish the battle following these easy steps. Select Star Me and attack your opponent with Star Freeze, then knock it. Remove the game from your Game Boy and insert it into your knockoff console. Then plug in an NES controller and play it with only one hand. This is the most important step. You have to only play it with one hand. Next step, unplug the controller. Unplug the game cartridge while the game is still running from your knockoff console. Insert a copy of Super Mario Bros. for the NES. Plug in the NES controller again. Reinsert the Pokemon game into your knockoff console and keep playing. Oh my god, that was like an hour long. This, I hope the whole game is not like this. That was literally the most boring thing I've ever done in my entire Alright, I'm heading to the grass club, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm heading over here because I got a Charmander, and this guy just showed up. And apparently he's my rival, and he wants the legendary Pokemon cards all for himself. Um, this plot is very unbelievable and unrelatable. I do not know of any kid in my entire life who ever wanted to collect Pokemon cards, let alone you can just buy card packs to get legendary Pokemon. Have people ever heard about going to the store to buy cards? I thought I got the Charmander deck. How come the only Pokemon that I have right now are Pikachu? Then what we're gonna do is attach a 
well, I can't select this card. What well, I'm gonna put a lot of detail into this game, including the coin toss, an essential part of the Pokemon card game playing experience. I thought this was the grass team. How come they have a Ditto? That is not a grass Pokemon. That is actually I don't know what kind of Pokemon that is. <laughs> All right, um, let's see if I remember. Um, attach the lightning bolt to the car. <sighs> Uh, I'm feeling sleepy, guys. I don't know if I can actually survive it. This is only the first battle. The first real battle. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna fall asleep.